California has one of the most complex and diverse ecosystems on the planet. Comprised in this ecosystem are thousands of miles of lakes and rivers. These cold water fisheries are home to 32 unique native species of trout, salmon, and steelhead. California has a greater diversity of native salmonids than any other state in the lower 48. These lakes and rivers are a sportsman's paradise with near endless opportunity for angling. It would take several lifetimes to sample all that California has to offer. Once considered the land of abundance, California's resources now have been severely impacted. Mining, dams, logging, agriculture, development, and other uses all have taken a toll. Climate change and currently a severe drought are also negatively affecting our fisheries. Fish populations across the board are in decline, with some on the verge of collapse. Many native species are now listed as endangered or threatened, and the California bull trout has already gone extinct. As sportsmen and women, it's time to take a critical look at conservation. If we want our children and their children to have the same kinds of fishing opportunities that we've had in our lifetime, we need to start taking conservation of water more seriously. As anglers, there's lots of little measures we can take to help protect our local fisheries. Things like catch and release, ethical harvest, slot limits, minimizing personal pollution, and controlling the spread of invasive species can all help at a local level. But realistically, if we're going to make meaningful changes to protect these cold water ecosystems on a landscape level for future generations, it's going to take bilateral cooperation from a multitude of stakeholders who all share an interest in California's cold water resources. My name is Michael Weir. I'm a professional fly fisherman, a filmmaker, and a conservationist. I've been fly fishing California my entire life. I spent many years as a guide introducing people to the sport of fly fishing. I've been very lucky to make a living off of these resources. But just in my lifetime alone, I've seen significant changes to my regional fisheries. For me, the writing is on the wall. The future of fly fishing is in conservation. That's why I'm excited to be working with California trout. Caltrout is working to help ensure healthy populations of native trout, salmon, and steelhead throughout the state. My name is Curtis Knight. I'm California Trout's Executive Director. At Caltrout, we have a core belief, and that is that abundant wild fish mean healthy waters, and those healthy waters make for a better and more prosperous California. And we're committed to a better California by ensuring resilient populations of wild trout, steelhead, and salmon thriving in cold, clean waters. We put a lot of our resources out into local communities. So we have five field offices throughout the state, Mount Shasta, Arcata, Mammoth Lakes, Ventura, Santa Rosa. And in these communities, we build up trust by having presence there. And that trust builds up an opportunity to work with diverse interests. We use this trust and credibility that comes by utilizing the best science and the best information to develop proof of concept projects, on the ground innovative solutions that work for fish, work for commerce, work for people, work for farms, and work for communities. On the north coast we are focused on some of the last best salmon and steelhead waters in the state, including the Smith and Eel River. Some of our key projects include the formation of the Eel River Task Force working to solve watershed issues from a diverse user group. We are also working to rehabilitate the Eel River's estuary which is important rearing habitat for salmon and steelhead, as well as removing barriers to fish migration so more fish can reach the prime headwater habitats. In Mount Shasta area, we're working to protect the state's largest sources of cold spring water and some of California's best wild trout fisheries. Current projects include a large-scale restoration project on historic Hat Creek and relicensing flows for the McLeod and Pitt Rivers to benefit fish. We're also helping with fish tagging studies on the McLeod and Fall Rivers to help influence management decisions to benefit wild trout. Caltrout is also involved in the historic Klamath Dam removal negotiations, as well as protecting the Shasta River through a safe harbor agreement with local ranchers. In the Central Valley, we have the Nags Ranch Agricultural Floodplain Project, demonstrating that flooding rice fields in the winter can reconnect juvenile salmon to prolific historic rearing habitat giving them a boost before heading to the ocean while also befitting farms, waterfowl, and flood protection. In the Southern Sierras, Tahoe Cow Trout is committed to protecting native trout, headwaters, and meadows. 
This year, we are working to expand native Lahontan cutthroat populations within the Walker River Basin. We recently led a comprehensive habitat assessment on the upper Truckee River and Meadow, which is a main tributary to Lake Tahoe. Caltrout was also instrumental in helping settle the historic Mono Basin Agreement set to protect Mono Lake and its tribes. In Southern California, Caltrout is committed to helping restore endangered Southern California steelhead. Projects include dam removals, removing barriers, and habitat restoration, as well as policy and advocacy. In Sacramento, we are driving policy to help shape the future waterscape in California. Recent bills we've helped advocate for fish include the California Water Bond and the California Groundwater Reform Act. It is these types of large-scale landscape level projects that will ensure a bright future for California and its fisheries. But conservation isn't just about saving fish for the sake of good fishing. Native fish are an indicator to the health of these cold water ecosystems. Healthy functioning ecosystems are vital not only to fish and other wildlife, but also to people and commerce. Our fate is tied to the fate of the rivers.